second week. Happy New Year and welcome to our weekly outlook. Finally, we are in the last week of 2021. 52nd week will be the light week with most of the main players out of the market. However, we still have some important data to watch, including Chinese trade data, US employment, and Japanese inflation numbers. And at the end, we will review the IFC market's latest update from its 15th anniversary. Let's go to the detail and see the most important data to watch. Number 1. Turkish Capacity Utilization Capacity utilization is one of the main economic indicators that refer to the relationship between the actual output that is actually produced with the installed equipment. One of the economies that expresses many challenges these days is the Turkish economy. With decreasing rates and higher inflation, estimates about 78 is a bit far than realities. With expecting ease in the capacity utilization, the weakness seen in the previous weeks in the Turkish lira can start coming back. Number 2. Japanese Industrial Production and Employment Data Tuesday, Japanese data will be in the spotlight. The unemployment rate is expected to remain unchanged at 2.7%, which is the full employment level there. And industrial production is supposed to increase by 4.8% in November. Japanese economy used to increase well in the past months, and it gives us more hope for the Japanese Nikkei 225's bright future. Number 3. U.S. Data in Focus Wednesday will be the U.S. Data Day including trade data, inventories, and home sales. Trade balance is expected to confirm the trade deficits after a big drop of October from September all-time high, mostly actually affected by the less experts. And for home sales, it's widely expected to see lower digits after November surprise with a 7.5% increase. And finally, we also have to follow the whole sales inventories and US weekly code oil inventory report. Actually, both will be very important for investors. Overall expectations are positive for this data and waiting to see higher numbers with the call market ahead of New Year F. Number 4. Thursday and Europe Thursday, as always, we have to learn the US unemployment data. However, this Thursday, British housing market data and European inflation numbers are also important and need to be in the spotlight. According to the latest published data, we already know that the European economy is improving a bit slower than its American and Chinese rivals. But it is improving. Therefore, we can see European stock markets also increasing, even if at a slower pace. Number 5. Friday and Chinese data Chinese production sector had some weakness for two months. However, they could recover again above 50 level, while the service sector, despite the relative decline, could hold itself in a pro range. For December data, we are expecting to see both manufacturing and non-manufacturing PMI numbers increase in China and help the overall positive market sentiment. And finally, the important update from IFC markets. The 15th anniversary promo is in full run. Dear traders, you do still have a chance to participate in this promo and become one of the lucky winners. IFC markets has prepared many cool prizes for you. See for yourself. Dream Cruises for two, Hublot Gold Watch, iPhone 12 smartphones, Apple MacBook Pro laptops, iPad Air tablets, and lots of bonuses. And don't forget about the Grand Prix, Mustang Match E electric sport car. It's a good chance to test your knowledge while there are playing such a cool prizes. Thanks for being with us and hope it will be your week with a very happy new year ahead.